Right, so I just thought I'd share a couple of issues that I had with the, the Nectar um, Impact LX49 Plus, and this is a mapping issue that I had. When I, when I first bought the keyboard, uh, I installed all the, uh, the Impact Steinberg integration file. This is not a script file, so this is not going to give you a representation of your MIDI controller in this window here. You're not going to get it. Uh, they haven't written a script for it yet. In any case, you could build it yourself, but that's the mistake that I made. I tried to start, I started to try and build it myself, and that was the wrong thing to do. I messed up all the Nectar script files, um, all the Nectar um, um, default files, which I'll go into in a minute, configuration files. Anyway, so you download the, input, imp uh, the Impact Steinberg integration file, you install that, okay, you launch Cubase. The first thing you need to do is obviously you need to go into MIDI port setup and you need to untick the second Impact port in all MIDI in column. And I'll show you that in mine. So you should be able to see it in your studio setup. You should have Nectar here. You should be able to see this here and you should have some settings that kind of look like this. Okay, so what you do is MIDI port setup is you got to uncheck the second one. So for me, I think that that is going to be this one. Yeah, that's this one. Let me just go back and double check. So in the instructions, if I open up this one, yeah. So you need to uncheck the MIDI in um to impact lx49 plus okay just uncheck this in the all in in all midi column okay so um once you've done that great okay so images two and four you should then see that the neck the nectar in our case it's the lx49 plus you should be able to see it here okay which uh if you look into my into my Cubase settings if I go to here you can you can see it in here okay so everything's good I don't change anything else in there no problem at all now the issue I was getting let's uh, add an instrument track let's put in uh, serum specifically with what I was working with so I thought that's what I make this video about when I add the uh, when I add the instrument in um, let's select a, a just a random synth uh, thing. Okay, I could get standard um, MIDI MIDI um, control. Okay, so what what I wasn't getting is I wasn't getting uh, the cutoff wasn't working. As you can see now, the cutoff is just picked up here. If you do a full rotation of the pot, which you need to do before the cutoff will pick up. Initially, uh, I didn't have anything mapped. Nothing was working, okay? Now, on the keyboard here, on the controller here, you have to make sure that you are in instrument mode and either one of these two lights uh, light up. If they don't light up, you might need to restart your DAW uh, to get those going or just change between mixer or preset and back to instrument. And then you should be able to change from page to page. And in the default, this should have some pretty good mapping going on. You should have the attack, em the, the envelope one attack, envelope one decay, uh, envelope one sustain and release. And also your other bank of uh, ADSR here should be mapped to envelope two. So if I go to envelope two, you can sort of see there is some mapping. You can see envelope two is uh, mapped to there. None of this was mapped for me. It was uh, a complete, nothing was working and I was unable to use the uh, mapping uh, instructions that came with the impact. That being holding down the shift, moving a pot. Okay, so LFO by default is not mapped to anything. So the LFO on your keyboard controller isn't mapped in the Serum. So if you shift and hold this down and say I wanted to map it to mix, I would have to hold down the shift key on the Nectar, move this through a full rotation, move this pot through a full rotation. Okay, then let go of both of it and then move the LFO pot through a full rotation then it will pick up the mix. As you can see, it just picked up, it's just picked up the, the main mix there. So the solution, if you have problems 
um, with your mappings is to get the default parameters set up in, in Serum and Nectar. And if you go into a Serum, Serum instrument and you pull this little arrow down here and go to Remote Control Editor, um, it should look like this. This is the default layout, the standard layout. Uh, if it doesn't, then you may need to reset uh, to default so you can get the factory layout here. And if you click on that little arrow, get default factory layout, click apply, close this down, close this down, close down Cubase. You don't, I didn't need to save that project, that was just me messing around. And go to your documents folder, uh, go to Nectar, Impact, Mapping Files, Instruments, and in here you'll have a, uh, a bunch of, um, sort of mapping files for, for each instrument. And you'll see in, in here we've got Serum, you can actually remove all of these. Restart Cubase. Restart your Serum instrument. And now you should have, oh, yeah, let's find something nice. The presets on on this uh, serum are, are absolutely crazy. They really are. Okay, so what you should have now is you should have complete mapping control. So when you operate the cutoff, you will have cutoff, you will have resonance. You have to do a full rotation of the pot to, for them to kick in. I think you can change the settings for that, but you know you get the idea. And then most of the stuff should be mapped. You should have your, your master volume over here. You should have uh, your ADSR should be all set up and ready to go. As you can see, all working. So, uh, yeah, if you're really struggling and you just want to reset everything to default um, in Serum, uh, that's the way to do it, basically. Um, and thanks to Nectar support. As you can see now, uh, I've dumped the file in there as Cubase reopened. Um, it's put a new file in there and this is the default Serum um, uh, preset mapping for, for, your, for Serum instruments and the, Serum, and the Nectar controller. So yeah, that's basically it now. I just wanted to share it out because I was struggling with it a little bit because I, I faffed around in here. Uh, I messed around trying to add it, trying to add a make my own script control surface and uh, yeah, just... Uh, don't bother or if you do just be just be mindful that you can go back and reset everything in the serum and as for the other in instruments uh they've got kind of straight off the bat they've got a uh, sort of limited control and i haven't even really um in investigated um what, what you get what, what you can do here <laughs> And if I pull that arrow down, I'm just looking to see if there's the same there's the same thing in here. Remote control editor, yeah, you can do exactly the same in uh, for it looks like all of your instruments. So again, you can apply, you can set, uh, you can reset everything there. So you you can do it with all your with your VST plugins um, via this little menu here. So just yeah, just just let you know in case you're struggling. Uh, I was, but. You know, you're probably a little bit more switched on than me. So uh, there it is. Thanks.